Hey, how's it going, friends? My name is Angel Alex, and welcome back to the channel. We are back with some more of Mass Effects. Last episode, we met Matriarch Benezia for the first time, uh, aka Liara's mom, aka my mother-in-law. Yeah, she's basically controlled by Saren. I don't know if control is the right word, but she was controlled by Saren. And in the end, we did have to kill her, but I think next on the list, we are going to be heading to, uh, Vimir. But, uh, before we head there, I do want to talk to the rest of the crew. Uh, get their feels on how that last mission went. All that good stuff. Um, let's start off with our boy Caden, you know. Friend zone Caden. <laughs> Friend zone Caden. That's, that's his nickname. Yeah. Anything you need, Commander? Uh, looking for personal input. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I didn't figure you'd have time to talk with all that's going on. There's got to be some xenobiologists who want to read about the Thorium. The paperwork will keep. Something on your mind? I'm just looking for an ear. That a briefing wasn't the right place to say how ridiculous this is. Seems like every other race in the galaxy is wrapped up in their own problems. They don't want to see what's coming. You can't blame them. That's their... your training talking smug aliens will show them. You can't blame them. Wanting to believe everything will be fine? Sounds like human nature to me. Yeah, I guess some things carry across species well enough. I should remember that after what happened with Furnace. You forgave him, so what happened? Don't tell me you and Vernus hugged on graduation day. Before I met Vernus, I knew as much as any other civilian. Aliens were weird, superior, and tried to tell us what to do. I mean... It's only been 26 years since first contact. That's not a lot of time to understand them. But it was Vernus who made me see how human aliens are. They're not different or special. They're jerks and saints, just like us. Hell, by the time I got payback, I didn't even want it anymore. I don't see you snapping very easily. What finally did it? He hurt Rana, broke her arm. She reached for a glass of water instead of pulling it biotically. She just wanted a drink without getting a nosebleed, you know? Like an idiot, I stood up. Didn't know what I was gonna do, just something. And Vernus lost it, beat the crap out of me, he kept shouting how they should have bombed us back to the Stone Age. And that's when the knife came up. A military issue talon, right in my face. I cut loose, full biotic kick right in the teeth. Almost as strong as I can manage now. At 17, that's something. You tried to help. You wanted to help a girl you cared for. That's a noble thing. Maybe my intentions were noble, but I... I lost control. I killed him, Shepard. Snapped his neck. Jesus. They probably could have saved him if they got him to an infirmary quick enough. But they didn't. Caused a stir when they shipped him home. Uh, Bob's Ziggy? training was shut down. Kinetics folded a couple of years later. Your butt so, is in yeah, uh, my maybe face. Maybe I hated that Turian. I mean, if one ass was enough to judge a whole race, I'd hate humans too. Sorry, my cat is distracting me. What did he say? If one ass was enough to judge a whole race, I'd hate humans too. Fair enough. A reasonable stance. Keep that level head and we'll do fine. Staying reasonable is about all we've got left. Everyone else in this galaxy seems to have gone out of their minds. Present company accepted, of course. Wow, okay, all right. Done with Kate in there. Um, learned a little bit more about his backstory. Let's see, who else can we have a chat with? Ziggy, you're gonna have to move, dude. Come here. Down here. Or somewhere else. <laughs> Anywhere else. Ziggy! Move. Move. Come down here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This cat. Oof. Move your tail! <laughs> Stop. Ah, <laughs> uh, back on the desk. Ziggy, get 
off, off, please, off. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Uh, let's have a talk with Ashley. Commander? Uh, how are we doing? What's your opinion of the last mission? You mean the Rachni, right? They were dangerous, Commander. They proved that 2,000 years ago. I think it was a mistake to let them go. But that wasn't my call to make. It, it was yours. You know, you really should talk to Tassoni about her mom. She has to be hurting. Just saying, Commander. I did, I did, I did. I I'll probably go talk to her again, make sure I did. <laughs> um, can we talk? Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? Sure. I was just watching some mail from home. Oh, before I go, we saw Caden in a news vid about the Normandy. He's cute. Later, sis. <laughs> Let's pretend this never happened. Caden, hmm? Are you interested in the lieutenant chief? Fraternization is against regulations, ma'am. Don't ask, don't tell. What's up? You didn't come by to eavesdrop on family mail. Uh, tell me about your family. I didn't mean to mind your protocol. Your family seems to be important to you. Let's dive yeah. deeper into, <laughs> into Ashley, close. you know? Me and my sisters especially. See With if Dad we can on get duty her so much, I had to help mom more. raise them. Uh, let's see, Dad. Did your father serve with the fleet? Yeah. Took any crap posting he could get that offered space time. You know what? He worked his ass off trying to get recognized. But he never made it above servicemen third class. He was real proud when I made chief. First thing he did was salute. Hmm. What about your mother? You haven't mentioned her. You must know what military wives are like. Strong because they have to be. Able to raise kids while dad's away on a six month cruise. She has a degree in planetary geology. She and dad both wanted to see new worlds. She gave up her career to raise us though. You have more than one sister? Sounds like a big family. Yeah, I'm the oldest, then Abby, then Lynn. Sarah's the youngest. She's still in high school. Damn, all girls. With four girls, Dad used to say he felt more outnumbered at home than on maneuvers. <laughs> Where did you grow up? <laughs> all over. We transferred a half a dozen times before I finished grade school. You go where personnel command sends you, right? I guess that's why I'm so tight with my sisters. We'd have to leave all our friends every two or three years. You raised your sisters? After helping raise them, your sisters still talk to you? <laughs> Amazing. Things were tense between Sarah and me for a while. Then we bonded. Sounds like a story. Feel like sharing? Sarah got herself a boyfriend who wanted to go faster than she did. Mike. I didn't think he was a bad kid, just pushy. Lynn would send me these worried vid mails, and I'd tell her to relax. Vid mails? Where were you when this was going on? I was on active duty. Sarah's graduating high school this year. This was only a couple of years back. They were on Amaterasu. At the time, I was assigned to Chernobyl. Same cluster, but a dozen LY away. Close enough to talk regularly, too far to make it back in an emergency. I couldn't afford a fast packet flight. Sounds like that situation didn't last. Mike thought they'd go for a romantic walk in the woods, because he figured it was past time they did the deed. <laughs> she levered Mike face None. first into a tree and left. Didn't have a scratch on her. Good thing Mom and Dad had us all learn some kind of self-defense. I took emergency leave and walked Sarah to school for a few days. Why didn't you tell the police? She said it wouldn't solve the real problem, and she and Mike would both become household names. It was a small colony. I said it was her call to make, that we should let her do it her way. Mom was pretty pissed about that. <laughs> you said all of your sisters learned self-defense? Lynn did pistol practice, but didn't like it. She's kind of nervous. Sarah took Aikido. Abby decided to learn the sword. She always was a little weird. <laughs> Likes big skirts and tops you have to tie her into. They do great things to her figure, though. Uh, what about you? So, what did you learn? One of Dad's friends taught me Marine hand-to-hand. -hand. You said all of your oh. sisters learned self-defense? Lynn did pistol practice. Abby just They do great okay. things to her figure, though. Um... She must have hated that. What happened with Mike? Uh, dedicated of you? Hmm. 
I mean, what happened? Actually, what did happen when Mike? Did anything happen while you were home? My last day out, Mike was waiting for us. Sarah had told her friends, so everyone at school knew what he did. He wasn't happy. I wanted to snap him in half, but Sarah gave me this look. This, let me handle it. I need to do this alone look. <laughs> she kept her cool, God bless her, as he screamed in her face. She just let him vent. Then he tried to punch oh, her. Oh, fuck that. I swear, she just flowed around him. Next thing I knew, he's face down on the sidewalk, and there's blood everywhere. I want to meet this girl, dude. That's unbelievable. Sarah must be as good as you. Better. I'm more or less a straight up puncher. When he swung, she just, she wasn't there anymore and he fell. <laughs> she helped him stop the bleeding and had me call an ambulance. She told the paramedics he fell. Before they took him to the hospital, Mike touched Sarah's arm. I thought he was gonna end up on the ground again, but he hung his head, whispered, I'm sorry, and started crying. And she hugged him. The Williams women are a decisive bunch, Commander. We do things when we're ready. Not before, not after. Your sister's something else. But you didn't mention your father at all. Was he on deployment? Dad always wanted to serve in space. But he wanted us to have real ground under our feet. He'd say, space is beautiful, but you can't raise a family there. I cannot rest from travel. I will drink life to the lees. All times I've enjoyed greatly have suffered greatly, both with those that loved me and alone. For always roaming with a hungry heart, much have I seen and known. Cities of men and manners, climates, councils, governments. I never thought I'd hear you reciting poetry. Just because I can drill you between the eyes at 100 meters doesn't mean I can't like sensitive stuff. <laughs> Just don't spread it around. <laughs> Ulysses was my dad's favorite poem. Every time he shipped out, he recorded me reading it. He had a dozen versions when he retired. Does he still like it? I sure hope so. I read it to his grave every time I go home. Dad passed on a few years back. He's probably still watching, though. I thought you said he was dead. That's not what I meant. You know, from heaven, wherever that is. That's not what I meant. That's not a problem with you, is it? That I believe in God? Uh, of course not. Not my plan. I do too. Keep it to yourself. Of course not. Everyone has the right to believe what they want. Says so in the Alliance Charter. Only with fancier words. I'm glad you're open-minded about it. I've met a few people who were really weirded out by my faith. Because I work in space, I can't believe in a higher power. Jeez. <laughs> Hello, have you people looked out the window? How can you look at this galaxy and not believe in something? I should get back to my duties. Didn't mean to take up so much of your time. All right, that was a good talk. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. Learned a lot about Ashley there. I want to be her sister. Damn, she needs to freaking join the Alliance. What's up, Rex? What do you want, Shepard? <laughs> How you doing? Why did you become a mercenary? Lots of reasons. Like, yes. Such as? Such as, I needed to get out of our system. I feel like I've asked this to, to, to him before, but... I needed to survive. Why not stay and help your people? I tried to help. That's why I had to leave. What happened? I was betrayed. I was head of a small tribe. We were trying to restore order after the war, but the other tribes were against us. They followed Jared, one of the few warlords who survived the war with the Turians. But he was old, and so were his ideas. He wanted to continue the war. He wanted us to fight. Turians, Salarians, each other. It didn't matter who, as long as we were fighting. What did you want? I just wanted Jared to shut up. <laughs> to stop his ranting. I wanted him to stop leading the tribes astray. But he couldn't understand how much things had changed. We didn't have the numbers to go to war. Even if we did, the Genophage made sure we couldn't replenish our numbers fast enough. I told them all to forget about war. We needed to focus on breeding, at least for one generation. And for a while, 
we were getting through. Some of the tribes started coming around. I take it the Warlord didn't appreciate that. No, he didn't. He arranged a crush with the tribes. A meeting on neutral ground. He wanted to talk. We met at the Hollows, near the graves of our ancestors. The skulls of our dead laid bare to remind us where we come from, and where we all go. It's as sacred as any Krogan place can be. Violence is forbidden. Sounds like a trap to me. You must have suspected as much. I did. But when your father invites you to a crush, well, there are some laws that even we hold sacred. Jared was your father? He was. Until that day. We talked. But we didn't get anywhere. When it was clear that I wouldn't join him, he gave the signal. His men leapt from the graves of our ancestors like Krogan undead. The few that were loyal to me died quickly. I escaped with my life, but not before I sank my dagger deep into my father's chest. Wow. That is why I left, and that's why I'll never go back. You must have family other than your father. Don't you miss them? You're trying to make me cry, Shepard. I've got some unfinished business with my family, but that's all. What kind of business? <sighs> Before I left, I made an oath to my father's father. I swore to recover my family's battle armor. It was taken from him after the uprising. What's so important about this armor? It's a relic. Useless, really. But it was worn by five generations of my family before the war. It's rightfully mine. Originally, it was taken by the Turian military. We weren't allowed armor or weapons after the war. Now, it's in the hands of Ton Actus. A Turian scum who collects relics from the war. He's made millions selling Krogan artifacts Dude, that were get stolen it. from my Can people. we do that? He's got several bases where he stores his goods. All fortified and guarded. I just don't know which base has my family's armor. I'll look for it. Just tell me where to start looking. I'll upload the data to your nav system. But Commander, I want to be there when you find him. I promise you. We're going to find the armor. Are you people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. Oh, I think I've asked them this before, too. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. What can you tell me about the Genophage? Ask the Salarians if you want details. They made it. All I know, it makes breeding nearly impossible. Thousands die in stillbirth, and most never get that far. Every Krogan is infected. Every one. And no one's rushing to find a cure. So long, Rex. Shepard. Alright, I do want to find... I wonder if it got into our journal. Let me see. Yes, family armor. Dude, we're doing that. We're doing that. I'm going to finish talking to the rest of the crew, and then we're going to go find Rex's armor. Commander. Hi. Good to see you. You've been with CSEC a while. I can't talk to Garrus ever. Well, not as much as you, but yeah, I've seen some interesting things. Is it something about other than C? We always talk about CSEC. You have anything in particular that stands out? I remember this. I think this is actually a little different. I was sent to investigate. That case was a bit disturbing. What happened? Why were you investigating him? I was tasked with tracking black market trade on the Citadel. Most of it harmless, nothing I needed to pursue. But during the course of my investigation, I noticed an increase in the trade of body parts, organs mostly. We usually get a few of those, but not the numbers I was seeing. We weren't sure if there was a new black market lab or if some freak was harvesting organs from citizens. Ugh. You've seen this before on the Citadel? Every so often, some lab sells unwanted parts through the black market, but they're not as bad as the Scythos. 
I remember this one Elcor diplomat we caught in my first year on the job. He was hacking people up and selling their organs. Had the station in a bit of a panic. But this case wasn't that clear-cut. Turns out there was more going on than we first realized. So how did you figure out what was happening? First, we got a hold of a sample and ran DNA tests. The weird thing was, the match led us to a Turian who was still alive and was very convinced he'd never lost his liver. After a bit of digging, I discovered this Turian worked briefly for Dr. Salion, the geneticist. So I went to his lab, hoping to find evidence of cloned organ development. But there was nothing. No Salarian hearts, no Turian livers, not one Krogan testicle. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Why would anyone want Krogan testicles? Some Krogan believe that testicle transplants can increase their virility, counteract the effects of the genophage. It doesn't work, but that doesn't stop them from buying. They'll pay up to 10,000 credits each. That's 40,000 for a full set. Somebody's making a killing out there. What'd you do about the geneticist? I brought in some of his employees for interrogation to see if I could get them to talk. While I was interviewing one of them, I came across something suspicious. You mean threatening? Was that really necessary? Maybe, maybe not. Either way, it paid off. One of my detainees started bleeding profusely during the interview. We offered to patch him up, and he got frantic, freaked out. I ordered a full exam to find out what was going on. Our medics found incisions all over his body, some of them fresh. That was our big break. These people weren't just Dr. Salion's employees. They were test tubes. Walking, living test tubes. He was growing parts inside these people? Exactly. He cloned their organs right inside their own bodies. Then he harvested them and sold them off. Most <coughs> of so the victims were poor. He'd pay them each a small percentage of the sales, but only if the organs were good. Sometimes an organ would grow properly, so he'd just leave it in them. Most of them were a mess, but only on the inside, hidden, so nobody could see it. I hope he got what he deserved. That's the worst part. We never caught him. Why not? What the hell happened? He ran, blew his lab, grabbed some of his employees, and headed for the nearest space dock. By the time I found out, his ship was already leaving. He threatened to kill his hostages if we tried to stop him. But you went after him anyway, right? I ordered Citadel Defense to shoot him down, but CSEC headquarters countermanded my order. They were worried about the hostages, worried about civilian casualties. The ship was destroyed so close to the Citadel. I told them those hostages were dead anyway. He just used them to make more organs. They wouldn't listen. Shh. <laughs> Idiots. No wonder you hated it there. Those idiots just let him fly away. Yes, they did. I went to Palin and told him what I thought of him and his policies. He said if I didn't like it, I could quit. Well, I almost did. All they had to do was disable that ship, stop him from running. Maybe the hostages die, maybe they don't, but at least we stopped the bastard responsible for it all. Tough choice. I suppose I can see both sides. But what's done is done. I suppose. I can't waste too much time worrying about it now. I just wish I could have stopped him. That's all. Do you have any idea what happened to Dr. Salian? I sent out feelers from time to time, hoping to find something. I thought I'd found him a while back. I wonder if we can he find him. He changed ships and changed his name to Dr. Hart. His idea of a joke, I guess. I told the military, but they weren't convinced it was him. I got the transponder frequency for his new ship, but I just can't get anyone to check it out. Give it to me. I'll check out the coordinates when I get a chance. I was hoping you'd say that. But, Commander, take me with you when you go. If it's Saleon, I want to be there when you find him. All right. Cool. And we're learning a lot about a lot of people today. Um, oh, let's go talk to our girl over here. Sa girl. Shepard, I'm glad you're here. Good to see you smiling again. <laughs> so I'm sleeping much better now. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. That's good. I still think a lot about my pilgrimage, though. I know Theron's our top priority, but with all the worlds we go to, I was hoping to find something to bring back to the flotilla. We've still got a long way to go. You'll find something to take back. Yes, but it cannot just be some derelict ship my people can use for salvage. It has to be more than that. There's a lot expected of me. 
What's so special about you? It's my father. He's the senior member of the Admiralty Board. He's one of only five people who can overrule the decisions of the Conclave for the good of the migrant fleet. My father is responsible for the lives of 17 million people. Our entire race is in his hands, and I'm his only child. So are you some kind of heir to the Quarian throne or something? No, it doesn't work that way. My father's position isn't hereditary. I'll probably never serve on the Admiralty Board myself. Officially, I'm just the same as any other citizen. But it doesn't work that way in practice. People have always treated me differently because of who my father is. You must get all kinds of special privileges. I probably had it easier than most growing up. But it's not all good. People like my father have enemies. And they're not above using me to get to him. That must be tough on you. My people place a high value on family and ancestry. There's an unspoken expectation that I'll live up to my father's example. Everyone's waiting for me to do something great on my pilgrimage. Something that will forever change our lives for the better. Well, I'm sure taking down Saren would be If I don't, it's like enough. I failed. And that reflects badly on both me and my father. The work you're doing here is more important than anything any Quarian's ever done before. Yes, I know. But you have to understand Quarian culture. We're a very insular society. The events beyond the flotilla don't much matter to the average citizen. Our greatest dream is that one day, we'll return to our homeworld and drive out the Geth. But even if we stop Saren, that's not going to happen. There's still millions of Geth behind the veil. Until they're gone, our exile will continue. What would you need to bring back to make everyone happy? Something that would help us better understand the Geth. They've changed significantly since the exile. They've continued to evolve. We've done our best to study them, but it's not easy. They're very reclusive. Until recently, they never went beyond the borders of the Vale. And all the Geth we run into now are under Saren's control. We'd need to find Geth operating on their own, independently. But I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First, we stop Saren. Then I'll worry about my own problems. All right. What was your father like? It wasn't I can't easy ever remember if we've asked her these questions. The Even before he joined the board, he was a prominent figure. People looked to him for leadership. He had to set an example, and he expected the same of his daughter. Plus, he was pretty strict, a military man through and through. He never allowed me to settle for anything less than excellence. As a kid, I sometimes felt like he was pushing me too hard. But now, I'm old enough to appreciate what he taught me. The world doesn't owe us anything. If we want something in life, we have to earn it. Agreed. Where was your mother in all this? Mother was around, but she always seemed to kind of blend into the background. Almost like she was overshadowed by my father. He tends to do that to people. She passed on about five years ago. Some airborne virus that swept through the fleet. Happens sometimes when the filters start to break down. I think my father took it pretty hard. After she was gone, he became even more focused on his work. I think that was his way of dealing with the grief. Sounds like a tough upbringing. You don't resent your father at all? Like I said, it wasn't easy. My father's not the kind of person you bond with. And he wasn't around all that much. Too busy. People counted on him, and he took his duties seriously. Even when he was around, he always seemed a bit distant. Like his mind was always somewhere else. Come to think of it, I can't ever remember seeing him smile. Not once. It's like he was always weighed down by all that responsibility. I mean, I know he cares about me, but he never really showed it. Not in the usual way. I guess the best thing I can say about my father is that I respect him. I want to talk about something else. Like what? Uh, I'd say let's go ahead and go. I should go. See you later. Alright, uh, now let's go talk to Liara. I know we talked to her at the end of last episode, but let's go make sure we fully t checked up with her. Um, let me check the Looking store for supplies? real quick, too. Yes. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Because we did buy a couple new licenses. So we have a new pistol. Uh, that's the same pistol I have. Scorpion armor. 
Not better than what I have. And then this pistol, 102. Yeah, nothing uh, of use, really. Um, maybe I'll buy some armor for Liara? Mm, I think actually, I think she has better armor than what was in, in the shop. Um, but yeah, let's go talk to Liara. Uh, make sure we're all caught up with her. And then uh, we are gonna, I wanna do that Rex side mission. Bye, Shepard. Okay, guys, so yeah, there wasn't much, uh, anything new uh, with Liara. So I think from here, we are gonna head out and help Rex find that armor he was talking about. in All right I, I think we're on the right planet here Ooh. uh let's have a look let me make sure the journal it said it was um oh, that's garris yeah Let's, uh, ch let's check the map. Let me see. Hidden structure. Anomaly. Okay, let's head to the left over here. Past the mountains. What do we have here? Ooh. Oh, shit. Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I wasn't expecting enemies for some reason. All right. We out. Look at us. Look at us. We look so fucking cool. All right, sorry. <laughs> um. This is the place. My armor's here somewhere. Yes. All right, let's go, Rexy Rex. My main man. Hello. Hello. Anybody here? Enemy is oh, 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 these are people. Move, Rex! Both y'all. Oh, no. Over there, over there. Turn over there. Damn, these guys take a lot. Okay, um. Overload. Go, go, go! Fuck him up, fuck him up, fuck him up. his ass. Got him. Got him. One more guy. Where you at, bitch? Where is he? Oh, you're there. How do I get up there?
Oh, right here. Pop your damn head out. I know you're there, dude. A lot of grenades. <laughs> All right. All clear. All clear. Gucci. All right. Um, let's look in here. Oh, scared me. Got some goodies in here. Uh, this is it. You have it? I can't believe my ancestors ever wore this piece of crap. But at least I've got it back. I'm glad we could help you get it back. I might just be starting to like you, Shepard. I like you too, Rex. Thoughtful, perhaps? <laughs> uh, Krogans are hard to read. Alright. Time to move on. I'm glad we did that for him. So, like, do we actually have it? Like, will he actually, like, wear it? Let me see. I don't see Krogan armor added to this. Uh, let me see. Mercenary. I'm not sure how you know R1. Yeah, hard to tell. But, uh, this is less stats. Yeah, I have him in 60 armor right now, and these are like 20, 30, so. Just keep him in the one he's in right now. Uh, there's also another door over here. Got a medical kit in here. And some crates. Shotgun, sniper rifle. Uh, alright, cool. Oh. Let's get moving. Move, bud. Alright, I think we're good here. Let's head back to the ship and, uh, we'll do that, uh, side mission for Garrus. Alright guys, we're here on, uh, I think, his ship. I think we just randomly boarded his ship. I'm a little nervous. This way, I guess. Oh shit, here we go. through here. Oh, thank you. Thank you for saving me from those things. Oh. Commander, that's him. That's Dr. Saleon. What? My name is Hart. Dr. Hart. Please, get me out of here. You certain? Are you sure it's him? Positive. There's no escape this time, Doctor. I'd harvest your organs first, but we don't have the time. You're crazy. He's crazy! Please, don't let him do this to me. Finish him. Put him out of his misery so we can get going. <laughs> Gladly. <laughs> I'm just... It's, it's his choice. Your days of butchering are over, Doctor. This is no, his fight. Please! Please! I sense trouble. That was... <laughs> Satisfying. Took one shot to the back and he's dead. Okay, we're done here. Good. Remember that feeling. That's how it should be. I will, Commander. Well, I guess we're done here. All right. Stained with the blood of many species. Ugh. Gross. But his work has ended here. Time to head back to the Normandy. Good. Good. I know I'm going all Paragon, but uh, 
That seemed like the right time to go a little renegade there. Just clearing out some of this stuff real quick. Picking up anything we can and then we'll head out. And I think we'll continue with the main missions. Commander, I'm reading a signal. It must be our Solarian infiltration team. Check out those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take them out. Ooh, pretty island. Get you in underneath their radar, Commander. Let's go, boys. And girls. We've got a clean drop, Commander. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are offline. Joke around. Alrighty. Alright. Let's head out, team. This is beautiful. Oh, what is this? What are these? What are you? Uh, I'm gonna assume they're friendly, so I don't touch them. Here we go, boys. There we go, there we go. What's that? We're good, we're good. Keep moving. Oh! Uh, oh, it's Geth. More Geth. Shocker. <laughs> I don't wanna hurt these little things. Fuck you. <laughs> Leave me alone. Lightning. Here we go. on this bridge. I'm stuck. Can't move. There we go. Fuck you. Whew. Shit. <laughs> this is giving me Halo vibes. <laughs> I 
we head back to the the car? that we're taking down, right? There's gonna be some entrance to those. Oh, shit! Gate controls disable. I'm reading that the grid is down, Commander. I'm on approach to the Solarian base now. Sweet. Out. Ready to move on your worm, Shepard. Gotcha, gotcha. What is this? Nothing? Okay. Let's head back to the car. Oh, shit. Oh, there's ships here. Oh, is that the Normandy? Woo! Love that. Alright, up here.
up on the gates. Oh, fuck. Shit. Whew, shit. So many of them, dude. Oh, that scared me. Not gonna lie, that scared me a little bit. Okay, he was just charging at me. Okay. That was the final gate. Our path to the Solarian camp should be clear from here. All right, good, good. Let's head back. Commander, Normandy's touched down at the base, but it looks like we're grounded. The Solarian captain can explain when we get here. What? Uh, okay. We're almost there. I love this, this so what are we supposed so to do now? Stay put until we can come up with it's a plan. It's giving me Rogue One vibes. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. What are we supposed to do in the meantime? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. Oh, I was about to say, I was like, aren't what? we the reinforcements? You're all they sent? I told the council to send a fleet. Uh, well. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. Saren? Is he here? Have you seen him? No, but his Geth are everywhere and we've intercepted some comms referring to Saren. All right. This is his facility. There's no doubt about that. What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. Are you fucking serious? How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the genophage. Wow, things just get worse. The Geth are bad enough, <laughs> but a Krogan army could be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. Yeah, but working for Saren... If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. Oh, come on. We are not a mistake. I mean, I agree with Rex, you know? Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. Not your problem. Don't worry about it, Captain. I do worry. That's why I'm still alive. Why don't you go talk to the Krogan? My men and I need some time to come up with a new plan of attack. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. I didn't like the way he was talking to Rex. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. <sighs> I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. Looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. Enough about Rex. Just drop it. He'll be fine. If you say so. But I'm gonna keep my eye on him, if it's all the same to you. Rex is a homie, alright? He's on our side. Look how lonely he looks, just sitting by himself. Oh my guy. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy it. I understand you're upset, but we both know Saren's the enemy here. He's the one you should be angry with. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. I didn't you say I want wanted to destroy, destroy it. it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry uh, from where I stand. You can't be- I don't have time for this, you can't be serious, it's not that simple. I don't like these answers. Um... It's not that simple. This isn't a cure, it's a weapon, and if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. I've been loyal to you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family ever did. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. I wouldn't do this otherwise. This isn't up for debate. We are. I wouldn't do this otherwise. Rex, these Krogan are not your people. They're slaves of Saren, tools. Is that what you want for them? Calm down. No, your tools for the council wants 
thank us for wiping out Varachni. They neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. Let's, let's just everybody chill. Okay, the music stopped. <laughs> all right, Shepard. You've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I will. Oh, want you can have it, buddy. Him. You can have it. You're my homie, you know that. You're my guy. I'm not gonna let anything happen to him. Oh my gosh. I was a little worried about him there. I thought he was gonna go like ape shit and start just like killing everybody. <laughs> oh man. Okay. I wonder how bad that could have gone. Okay. Um, let's, let's have a, ch a chat with our, our crew here. Um, Garrus, how you doing? Normally I wouldn't think much of Solarians in a firefight, but these soldiers seem well trained. Alright, um, thanks for the info. Nice work with Rex. I didn't think anything would calm him down. It won't be an easy fight, but we're ready when you are. Alright, where's, uh, my girl? Where the hell's Liara? Oh, over here? Mm, oh, there she is. Your ability to calm the Krogan is impressive. Thank you. It's called charm. All right, I think we're uh, we're ready, guys. All right, you guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't yet. Check out all the links down in the description if you're interested in any of the gear I use. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.